Hey, what's up? I'm Seth Century. And I'm DJ Sizzle. You're watching the AU Review. Welcome to Festival of the Sun. Thanks for having us, man. Thanks, mate. Is this kind of the end of the year for you? Is this how you're wrapping up the year? Uh, we've got one more to go after this. And then that's it. Uh, and that's on, yeah. Southbound just before New Year. So we're pretty much done. We, I shut off about a month ago. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> haven't stopped all year though it's it's been certainly not the biggest year you've ever had but certainly one of the bigger ones yeah a, this year was big wait oh, last year was bigger last year was monster yeah this year was a fucking breeze compared to last year yeah. Yeah. last year you had you know, the 20,000 date tour yeah. you had the, the album and yeah you know everything that came yeah. with that so. this was cruising man I've just been like laying low kind of getting back into writing music just for the, for the sake of writing music um, just experimenting stylistically, got a new house, you know, it's pretty cruisy. The tour this year was a breeze, we didn't have to go away for uh, four months in one go. <laughs> so fucking easy, man. Yep. Yeah, loved it. We've got a drummer great. now as well, so he kind of like shares the load. I feel like it's less stressful when there's more people in a band, you know? We've got a drummer, but he's really weird in front of a camera. <laughs> That's why he's not here. <laughs> so we... <laughs> <laughs> He's a liability. <laughs> so, how has it been though, exploring a, a larger live sound? In, in this oh, it's been dope because for the longest time, Sizzle and I were just doing it by ourselves, and you lose a bit of perspective. You know, you just you only know the songs one way, and you can't imagine them changing. And then having having Stevie come on board um, was able to bring fresh eyes and ears to it, and and kind of just be able to pull the songs apart and restructure them and had a bunch of really sick transitions and, and just things that we haven't like Bro, we cracked them wide open yeah it's mental we had two just two lines of the music coming out forever for the last four years two channels now we've yeah we've got like everything every element in the song is now available to be played with and tinkered with it's cool it's pretty sick does that change the way you you know, you're talking about that you're writing for the sake but does that change the way you're writing nah I lo like when i'm playing live i think Oh shit, this works. I gotta remember to write a song that works like this for live. But it's such a different yeah. thing. It's such an afterthought to me, the, the live show. Writing is so personal and it's something that I just enjoy it so much. Um, yeah, I, I just can't think about that. Any, anything else, I can't think about how it's gonna go on radio. I can't think about how it's gonna go at a festival. You know, let's, let's like shift for tomorrow. You know, yeah. So we've got a couple of singles out of you this year though, you know, is that is that a taste of what we can expect for 2017? I think so man, I've got another song coming out in the next week or so, uh, hopefully to take us through the summer and um, yeah, I just want to start putting out music and not overthinking it, not not necessarily writing an album but just, yeah. just releasing music, you know, yeah. That's got to be a nice approach because I mean I guess you spend a lot of time releasing a record and doing the whole cycle and then... Kind of get burnt out and you know yeah. what, like more and more or less and less I should say people actually care about albums like it's so disposable now like like people get an album they play for a week and they want and they're like I just like people literally comment to me on the day of release and they're like hey man like been playing the album can't wait for the next one it's like whoa this is like two years of my life spent two years on <laughs> yeah. that shit um, slow down money so I figure like just songs you know yeah there's a Bojack Horseman episode about that. I don't know if you've watched that show, but um, about he, he's, he's going on tour for his new show, and they're already asking him what's next. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's next? Yeah. I'm promoting it just to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what have been some of the highlights of this year for you? Uh, shit. Go, you can take this. Oh, I would have to jump straight on the Remy album, obviously. That was... Are we talking albums? Music? Oh, no, or for sorry. us. I'm talking about your, your uh, yeah, highlights of the year just as a um, set century. Let's, put, let's say the Remy album. Yeah. And yeah. we had Remy on tour with us, which was yeah, really dope. Yeah, doing that with Remy and Jay. Um, uh, getting, the, getting a brand new show up and popping was, was huge and was like definitely a time when we thought, is this actually worth it? Should we just play the shows that we've always done and play the songs the way that we've always done them? And, uh, I was stressed, a bit stressy for a minute there. Yeah. <laughs> Am I really cut out for music? But well, we fucking did it. What we else? did. We did. Um, what else happened this year? 
Did anything good happen? Uh, yeah, all of that. We spent a lot of time doing that. What even happened that? this year? It's just a fucking blur. 2016. Because, I mean, it was it's been pretty. A, it's been a pretty fucked up. It year. was a pretty shit year. Yeah, there's been some. Heavy everyone, everyone that I loved all, all died. The greatest celebrities yeah. died. Everyone's dead. It's America's Trump. fucked. Sorry to end on a bummer. This is a rubbish year. Fucking yeah. Pauline yeah. Hanson. You know, Brexit. And now, and now Russia's actually. And now it looks like Russia may have helped Trump get into fucking office. Seen that shit? Yes. Dude, this year is just crazy. It's, uh, it's so fuck 2016. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you 2016. <laughs> but, but on to bigger and better things in 2017. Oh, 2017 sure. is gonna be fucking dope. Well, I mean, I, think. I mean, the expectations now are gonna be like fucking rock bottom. Rock bottom. It's like gonna exactly. see a new Star Wars film. It's just like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still hoping that it's going to be good next Rogue, week. Yeah. The trailer's fucking good. Oh, Rogue One yeah, looks amazing. Sick. Yeah. Oh, you've already seen it? I've seen the, tra- the trailer, the trailer. Oh, right, yeah. I was going to say, no one's seen it. How have you seen it? Yeah, nah. <laughs> I've seen it in my mind. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It should be good. Yeah. It's got Forrest Whitaker. I mean, come on. Like, yeah. best cast. Yeah. Ghost Dog. It's fucking Ghost Dog, dude. Come on. 